Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Um, for everybody who I left on my long hiatus for, welcome back. Thank you so much for sticking with me. My name is Melanie, for those who do not know. Um, my channel used to be solely a beauty channel, um, but now my channel is transitioning into more so um, a lifestyle channel. So I will still be doing beauty, but I'm also going to be doing more life vlogs, motherhood, um, cleaning just everyday life um so i just wanted to introduce you guys to my channel and just say hi um a lot has changed since the last time i posted um now i am a work at home slash stay at home mom i'm a wife um of a wonderful man and i'm a mother of a three-year-old little girl named london and this video is really just giving you a little bit of insight on my day today Right now I'm currently working and then you'll see my baby girl London there and doing what she does best in her dress up clothes and in the mirror, well, in the reflection of the fireplace looking around at herself. So stay tuned and you'll be able to see kind of what a normal day looks like for me. Um, so right now I am going to be on lunch break and I, like I said, I do have a full time job. I work from home. So London stays home with me. Um, on this day, I made this really, really good lunch, y'all. And it was super duper simple, but it was so good. I just took a grilled cheese. Or well, I took some bread and I made a grilled cheese. But instead of just making a typical grilled cheese, I added like pizza sauce and pepperoni to it. Oh my God. Like I'm thinking about it now. It was so freaking good. I kind of want to make another one. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just making that for lunch. And then Lynn and I are going to sit down and have a little bit of lunch. Um, and then I'll get to the rest of my day. I wanna have somebody, wanna have somebody, wanna have somebody that's cool I just want to go ahead and say excuse my appearance while I'm in this video I'm at home I work from home people don't see me um I once posted like a meme on Facebook talking about work from home attire and that was like the truest thing ever um I look a hot mess <laughs> and my hair is dry and everything but this is real life y'all um so yeah y'all see me washing some grapes it's really hard to get London to eat anything remotely healthy but she does like fruit so I try to incorporate that with every single meal um, I tried to give her the good and gather fruit leather and she was not having it. She said that it's not candy and she did not want it. So I ended up eating it. So yeah, right now we're just sitting down and having lunch together. So these dishes, y'all. Um, I did not wash the dishes from the night before. Dishes are kind of like the bane of my existence. Like there's just something that you just have to do. You're gonna see me doing dishes a lot in this video because as you guys know, like life happens, you have to eat. And you can't just wash dishes one time unless you just wash them at the end of the night before you go to bed. And that just be the end of it. Like I'm washing dishes multiple times because that's just reality. Your sink is full of dishes. You can't help it. We can't help it. We have to eat. So this is one of many sinkfuls of dishes that I'm going to be washing. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, right now I'm just putting the things that can be in the dishwasher into the dishwasher. And then I'm going to wash like my pots and pans by hand. Um, I use the Dawn Platinum to wash all of my um, dishes that I wash by hand. You guys will see that I really don't have any type of method to where what kind of cleaning products I use I pretty much use anything that I see and I like um, I like things that smell good as well so I like to use a lot of Mrs. Myers products and some method products um, but I'm not too picky because if something needs bleach says I'm gonna bleach it like I'm not gonna sit up there and just sit like use something that's all natural if I know that something's effective it's not gonna hurt us to just lose a little bit and I'm not opposed to using some chemicals if need be so yeah I'm just washing the dishes now
So I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize in advance. This is the first time I've ever tried to do something like this in terms of recording. Um, I'm used to recording beauty videos, so my videos used to be straight on. So a lot of this video, my body, my face is cut out of the frame unknowingly. Um, but I was not about to just waste footage. I was still gonna use it. And then also I did lose a lot of footage because it was just corrupted for some reason. So a lot of my footage got deleted. So if the video seems all over the place, then that's exactly why. Um, but right now I'm washing my comforter and my sheets. I use the Lysol laundry sanitizer on every little laundry that I do to sanitize it because toddlers. Um, and then we usually just use all detergent. Um, so right now I'm starting to prepare my dinner. Uh, we were having spaghetti and meatballs this day and I made my meatballs by hand. Um, well from scratch I should say. Um, I did not have any breadcrumbs though so right now you're seeing me preparing up some breadcrumbs so that I can use them as a binder for my meatballs. Um, our Ninja Blender came with a food processor attachment so that's just what I'm using to chop up these breadcrumbs and then I'm going to go ahead and bake them in the oven so that they can actually be crumbs. So this is what you're seeing now. It's been a day, stressing out like crazy Just wanna be lazy with my girls It's been a day, we gonna get wavy Layer on some diamonds and some pearls Maybe we could go to the mall, get our nails done Get our hair done, we fly Maybe we could holler at the boys, looking so good Just so when they walk by Cause we know what they want, but we just laugh <laughs> Yeah, we won't let them get away with that We walk tall, our heads held high Cause we so motherfucking fly yeah. Wings of gold, we touch the sky Bad bitches, do we die? We so fly I'm just gonna go ahead and put these breadcrumbs on a baking sheet And then bake them in the oven until they're like golden brown in the next clip, y'all are going to see me folding up my dish towels. I do like to wash those frequently. And then I also like to wash my microfiber towels that I use to clean because I feel like you can't really effectively clean if your towels are dirty. Um, I put one microfiber towel in each bathroom. So we have two, um, you know, two in the bathrooms. And then I keep a couple under the sinks as well so that we can clean like the kitchen um, and like the dining area. But yeah, I don't want to cross contaminate my towels or anything like that. So that's why we keep them separate and we wash them frequently as well. Cause we never get stuck in line We can't help it, we just look so snide oh, You look so good Yeah, we're the ones the boys are looking at We walk tall, our heads Here goes dishwashing of the day number two just washing that food processor that I use for my breadcrumbs and coming up you're gonna have a little bit of a ASMR moment while I take my breadcrumbs out of the oven Yeah, so I just thought that that was nice to add in there. Um, I was just like, when I was doing it, I was like, ooh, this is kind of ASMR-y, like, let's do that. Uh, but now, yeah, I'm just about to clean off my my stove because there's breadcrumbs all over it because I'm in shambles and I cannot pour to save my life. Um, so I'm just gonna use the Method Degreaser as well as the Barkeeper's Friend cooktop cleaner to clean off my oven stove cooktop. Um, and then I'm using a Scotch Bread cooktop scrubber 
to clean it off just to make sure that I'm getting all the caked on stuff off. And I'm just going to wipe it down with my dish towel and then dry it off with a microfiber to get it all nice and shiny. It's crazy looking back on the footage of this video because even even though this wasn't that long ago, there's so many things about my home that have changed. So many decor pieces that we have added. So now it's just like looking back, it looks kind of empty and it's crazy um, because it, this wasn't that long ago. Like my daughter was a whole different age in this video. Her room looks completely different. You guys will see her room coming up here soon. But it's just crazy looking back that it wasn't that long ago and then things have vastly changed. Like time waits for nobody. And not even talking about like ages. I'm just talking about like the changes that you see on a daily basis. Like things change so quickly. But now I'm about to sweep my floor. Um, I despise whoever told me that dark floors were, you know, a mood because dark floors show a no like they, they show all your secrets, honey. All them crumbs on a daily basis, I feel like I'm consistently sweeping my floor um, because there's always something on there. Um, but now you guys are about to see me make up my bed. Um, the bed we got from Wayfair, I think we need a box spring underneath it, but I mean, it's fine for now. And fun fact, I keep washing the same set of sheets, same set of sheets. Wow, that's a tongue twister. Um, but we have like so many different type like sheets in the closet that I have not used because I keep like rewashing and remaking my bed with these same sheets. I don't know why. I'm just weird. Um, the rug we got from Amazon. This rug used to be my living room, but as you see, it's a pretty small rug. It's still small for my bedroom, but I had it for my living room at first, but then it just looked silly in there. It didn't match and it was too small. So I decided to add it to my bedroom, which I mean, it's still too small for here. And it's so crazy because in this video, we don't even have any end tables or anything in our room. And now we have um, nightstands in our room and lamps. So it's just like crazy looking back. This wasn't, like I said, this wasn't that long ago. And like the furniture that we've added had like really tied the space together. Now I'm just going through cleaning up my room, emptying out some bags and things like that that have been accumulating. Um, trying to clean off my little console table. This TV is no longer in my room either. This is now in London's bedroom. Um, and we got a new TV in the living room and put the one in the living room in here. Um, as you can see, my little baby has fallen asleep. So she's taking her little nap. Um, she fell asleep sitting up, so I'm just going to go ahead and adjust her and let her take her nap and do her thing. Girl, it's quitting time. It's time to get up out of there. Y'all see me do that little woohoo, honey, because I was ready. I was more than ready to clock out um, but yeah I'm just finishing up and cleaning up my little um, table my side of my our bed used to be like such a mess because we didn't have anywhere to put any of our stuff so everything that we used during bedtime and stuff used to always go on the floor because where else are we gonna put it I'm also saddened because I had a whole lot of clips of me cleaning my bathroom but as you can see it's now magically clean um, you guys will see me cleaning my bathroom in another video, but I don't really know what happened to those clips, but yeah, my bathroom's clean now. But I'm just gonna go ahead and take my Shark Steam Mop, which I swear by, and I'm gonna use my Method Squirt Plus Mop to mop my floor. Um, I prefer steam mopping over regular mopping because of, you know, the steaming aspect. It kills all the germs and bacteria, and it's the bathroom, so there's a lot of nasty stuff that goes on in that bathroom. Thank you. 
So I know I'm not the only one of those people who believes that your house is never really clean until you light a candle. I actually did not really like the smell of this candle, but I burned it because I don't like wasting money. Um, but I really love Bath & Body Works white barn candles. Like I'm a stan. I live I'm there every candle day buying some candles. Um, but yeah, I feel like if your house is clean, it should smell clean. And therefore, I love lighting a candle to kind of set that mood. And now you're going to see me live and crustified. I'm um, just showing my bathroom cleanliness in the mirror. But yeah, my bathroom is nice and clean and disinfected, smelling good, looking good. I wish I had the clips of me cleaning it, but I'm not going to harp on bygones. So now I'm cleaning my daughter's bathroom, which is also the guest bathroom. Um, for her bathroom, because she is a toddler, I like to use the Method anti back. Um, I really don't like using this because I die every time I use it. Like, it's so strong. Um, but I mean, I, I like to use it because I like to disinfect her bathroom. Um, again, with the cutoff head, I'm like freaking Miss Bellum or Wizard Kelly up in this video because y'all cannot see my head and I apologize greatly. Um, now I'm going to use the Method Foaming um, Cleanser. Well, I'm using the antibiotic to clean up the bathroom. I interchange or the the toilet. I'm sorry. I interchange this with the Clorox wipes. It just depends on what I have on hand at that time. And then I'm going to use my Method Foaming Cleanser to clean the base of her shower. And then I'm going to use the Daily Shower Cleanser Cleaner. Gosh, sorry y'all. And a squeegee um, to clean the glass because there's nothing worse than soap scummy glass on a shower. So now you guys are gonna see me assisting London with cleaning up her room. She doesn't really like my help cleaning up her blocks and things like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a light makeup of her bed so that her room can kind of look tidy. I wasn't gonna do a full makeup because she was about to get in and it was about to be nighttime. Um, but yeah, most of the time London cleans up her own room. I basically instilled in her like, if you made the mess, you gotta clean it up, sis. Um, but yeah, I, I help her sometimes because I like the things the way that I like them. But of course, she does the majority of the work because she makes the whole mess. Um, but yeah, I just have her clean up her room. This is a light day. There's days where her room is just freaking atrocious. And it doesn't like I, I'm not touching that like that. But today it wasn't that bad. She just had blocks because she was just playing with her blocks. And now I'm about to use some magic eraser to get this crayon that she colored on her table. And then you guys are going to see the cutest moment of this whole video coming up now. Can you show them your big girl room? Yeah. What? Can you use your words? Happy. You're not happy? Why? I'm mad. Why? Why are you mad at me? Because I want to see you go spell. What? You didn't spoil me. You're trying to trick me. I did not try to trick you. You need to watch.
wipe your nose. Trick, trick, trick. Okay, can you show them your big girl room? Show them where everything is. My big girl room. Okay, what's this? That's my blocks. Okay, what's this? That's my spray box. Okay, well, what's this big old thing? Oh, shoot. What's this big old thing right here? Oh, is it? That's your toy box too? Yeah. What's that? It's my picture. Your chalkboard? Yeah. I can cut it on it. And what is this? Oh. Good. Oh, good job. It's my name. What's this right here? It's not my name. Well, how do you spell your name? Oh. L-O-N-D-Y-N. -N. I made it A. Not quite. Hey, can you finish showing them your room? Where's your big girl bed? Oh, okay. Is this your picture? Okay, you ready to go help mommy cook? Yeah. Let's go. I'm happy. You happy now? Yeah. Okay. It's crazy. That's just a little bit of London and her personality. But what's crazy is that in this video, she was a whole different age in like. Just seeing how much that she's grown since I recorded this video is crazy. That's my little handsome husband sitting there doing what he does best, playing Call of Duty after work. Um, he comes right home and he focuses right on that video game after a stressful work day. Um, but yeah, these next couple clips are going to be out of order. Because here you see that my meatballs are completely done. And then in the next clip, you're going to see that my meatballs are still raw and still clucking because they are, or still gobbling, I should say, because they're turkeys. Um, but right now I'm just putting away some gumbo that I had made and putting it in the freezer bag so I can stick it in the freezer so that I can have it as leftovers at a later time. Um, but yeah, I apologize for the out of order clips. I didn't realize that they were out of order while I was editing and too lazy to go change it back. So um, yeah, you guys are going to see I'm making up my meatballs. I just first like put them in my cast iron skillet to brown them a little bit and then I stuck them in the oven to cook them all the way through. Um, so that's what I'm doing here is put my meatballs and I'm frying them up and then I'm gonna bake them it's been a night, lighting up too many smoke up just to show how we get down it's been a night we know how to party dancing like there's no one else around you know I've been looking so fine body like mine wearing these boots by high bitches in the corner with wine swimming cause we never get stuck in line we can't just look so snide oh, You look so good Yeah, we're the ones the boys are looking at We walk tall, our heads held high Cause we so motherfucking fly yeah. Wings of gold, we touch the sky, baby Here's another cute moment This is like a little London and mommy break I never trade you for anybody else Singing brown skin Never be forever be somebody's wifey. <laughs> I don't think they cut. 
So yeah, I just wanted to add that little moment in because that's something that me and my baby girl like. We stand for our good sis Beyonce. I would love to teach her some Rihanna songs, but Rihanna has not made any music since my baby has been born, literally. Like her last album came out in 2016 in like March or February. London was born in November 2016, so at this point she don't know who Rihanna is except for what I show her. I'm not mad, but I'm just saying, sis, drop the music, you know what I mean? Stop holding out on us, you're teasing. Um, so y'all may have noticed, this girl didn't season not a nan thing. Don't worry y'all, I'm not about to make the ancestors mad. Like, I took this turkey meat and it's the turkey meat for my meatballs, meaning that it's already seasoned. I seasoned it already, don't, don't come for me. Like, I'm seasoning for the culture, I would never do y'all like that. <laughs> So speaking of them good ancestors, I'm doing exactly what they told me to do when I'm cleaning my cast iron skillet, like no soap, drying it off immediately, wiping it down thoroughly with oil, like I'm doing exactly what they taught me and they would be proud. My grandma is smiling right now. Like she, she, she trained me well. <laughs> I can't get over how crusty that I look in this video and the fact that I'm wizard Kelly and the hell out of y'all right now but this is real life and I'm gonna get better I swear my next videos are gonna be in frame y'all gonna see my smiling crusty face and like it's gonna be so much better but I didn't want to waste footage so I mean here it is wizard Kelly miss bellum like cleaning video because I worked hard on this video so i'm not about to just let go of some footage just because i'm out here serving up with wizard kelly goodness for the gods and then at the at this point in the night mama needed some wine judge me not i had been doing a lot like i worked i cared for london i cleaned i cooked let me enjoy my glass extended glass that's a big ass glass of wine sorry y'all <laughs> I like to fight a little dirty, baby If I opened up and came, then would you hurt me, baby? I've been feeling like an alien, a refugee, and outsider But sometime You the first one made my heartbeat, made my stomach drop with desire It's no crime What is this, like dishes, sink full of dishes number four in this video? Like I told y'all, it's like a never ending process, but I think this is all I had to do for the rest of the night. Thank goodness. Oh,
So when I wash towels, I like to set um, fresh ones out for my husband and I for us to take our showers at night. And now it's also time for baby girl to take her good night shower as she calls it with her lavender soaps and things like that because it's time for her to go to sleep. So she's going to take a shower and then you guys are going to see me tucking her in, reading her bedtime story, saying her prayers and putting on her bonnet. Yes, my baby wears a bonnet. Like good hair care knows no age. She will be wearing a bonnet for the culture. Ryan Little. <laughs> guys now we're coming to the end of this video as y'all can see mama is exhausted honey i am tired but i hope you guys enjoyed this video my next video will be 10 times better but i appreciate you guys watching don't forget to like and subscribe comment below as well and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks guys bye